Okay, hello. Welcome to Read with Aristide. I'm Aristide, as y'all know. So, uh, I'm got a comment on my other channel, or not my other channel, um, my other video that was like, if you were born a man, you would listen to, you would watch DVDR or whoever. So we'll look this guy up. And I'm going to be so real, if I was born a man, I'd be number one rice cell. Number one rice cell here but god made me god blessed me as a noodle roasty for a reason so let's just get this right out of the way i'm not don't call them roasties bro call them human beings okay dbdr lost and alone no one can help you the economy is doomed weeks before living in my car Wait, what are these scary owl thumbnails? The Ramona Flowers Academy. Okay, I'm... We'll watch. But I do want to fully recognize, listen. 5'2 Asian. If I was born a man, I would be a rice cell. Okay, let's just get this straight out of the way. I'd be playing League of Legends. I'd be like in a Kali main. I'd be playing Valorant. I would really be like the most awful person in the entire world if I was born a man, I think. And if I was, well, given the fact that I had like unrestricted internet access, I want everything about my house off the internet. I'll send the detectives. I'll send the police. I said everything in my power. Just get it off the internet. Okay. Listen to me. Listen to me. Do you realize? Do you realize? Okay, anyway. Um, what is this most popular video? What is okay. Wait, this is all about dating apps. Okay, guys, I'm I'm being so honest. I've never used a dating app. Well I have. What the fuck? I used a dating app during COVID. I didn't use Tinder or Bumble or Hinge. I used I used a gamer dating app, and I was 17. But other than that, I have not date. I've only dated people I've like known for like a bit. Like I've dated friends of friends or just like friends, um, because I you know yeah I don't like. I've been fortunate enough. That's the thing, too. I feel like you're just low-key better off. It can get messy if you date friends, but, like, they have a, have a good swarm of male and female friends and get the friends to introduce you to other friends. Date those people. Because I can't imagine being a guy online dating. My boyfriend, who's, like, he's pretty attractive, in my opinion. Um... He said he got like two dates a year, so like yeah. Um anyway, sorry. I'm like scared. Why can this guy pick like a cuter avatar to represent himself? What is this? Please pick something cuter. I don't like this. I really don't like this. Okay, we'll watch Lost and Alone. No one can help you but you. Well, I haven't even given this guy a chance. I wanna talk about my last few weeks of living in my hometown. It's gonna be a journey for me, especially because I'm gonna be so. I'm putting you at two times speed. No disrespect, really, no disrespect. I just want to like hear what you have to say. Wait, what is this video? I love my girlfriend, but the material you're about to experience is copyrighted by Paycheck. This is serious shit, so we're gonna skip all that PNG segment bullshit. I didn't write a script for this, um, so this is gonna be like completely improvised. Okay, I don't, okay. Sorry. I have shit that I just want to say. Sorry, 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 sorry. We'll watch our DBDR. All right. DBDR, I don't know what it stands for, but I'll say daddy's, daddy's butt cheeks, daddy's uh, real butt cheeks. M rename it DBDRB. Daddy's butt cheeks, daddy's real butt cheeks. Um, okay, I'm, uh, daddy's butt cheeks. I'm so sorry, I'm putting you at two times speed. No disrespect. 
absolutely no disrespect. I just want to hear what you guys Today, I want to talk about my last few weeks of living in my hometown. It's going to be a journey for me, especially because uh, I don't really have much of a, a backup plan. As you know, like over the past maybe like two months, uh, I'm going to, you know, moving, you know, houses sold, already with the new owners. And for some weird reason, I don't exactly know why, but uh, kind, of, kind of sads me a little bit, you know, seeing yeah, as much as like, you know, bad memories I have here and, you know, in my neighborhood and all that shit, you know, where I'm from, probably going to miss my house. I mean, I've been here since I was a kid pretty much. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to miss it. And it's getting really depressing as well. Okay, how, I mean, it was, it, was pretty, it was pretty short notice. And, you know, there's no furniture really in the house at all. Uh, my room, which I actually, actually quite enjoy now. And I kind of do want to live like this, but I do one day. Actually, no, I can't flame him. Because my, my room, I'm not going to do a room tour because that's like a little invasive. But my room is just a bed and a desk and a chair. And like a stool with a fan. And my ex-roommate's... Uh, bed stand that I'm giving back to her at the end of the summer and a lamp and my bass guitar in the back and that's really it y'all because well I'm, I'm I only live I'm, this is my last month living here I think so yeah it's my last month living here um so yeah but anyway sorry Wait. I get what he's saying because I'm technically I don't think I, I might move in with my parents again after um college but like i don't really want to i'd rather live in the city but also it's been like a solid couple months since i've like no it's been like a month because i visited home like a month ago but since then i haven't really spoken to my parents uh so there okay sorry for yapping i hate it in reaction videos when people just pause the thing and fucking talk for forever but like also who cares click off the video if you're not a fan click off the video if you're not a fan, literally click off the video. People are like, oh, thanks for wasting my time. You wasted your own time by continuing to watch the video. So, like, like I'm, okay, anyway. Hopefully soon, you know, within the next couple of years, get my own place, my own apartment. Uh, how my, you know, my room is pretty much set up. You know, I fucking, I Wait, up. how old is this guy? I actually don't know how, well, I'm assuming he's an adult. I'm, I'm assuming he's an adult. I don't know. All the, the dressers, all everything. You know, basically, we didn't, you know, sell anything. We just threw everything out of the house, kind of. Because we don't need it anyway. You know, I guess it's time for a, a new chapter and a fresh start anyway, but. You know, I throughout all like the toys I had from when I was a kid, I'm not, I'm not using that shit. You know, I mean, they're also kind of rotting there anyway. Uh, but my room, pretty much, it's, I'm not even joking. It's just a single mattress on the floor, uh, a foldable table with a TV in the corner, and my Xbox. And that's it. You know, that, that's my fucking room. You know, I slapped the closet. Uh, I donated. You know, I gave some some of my clothes to homeless people on the street and just donated most of it. Girl, same. And uh, I, don't know, I guess you know my comfort zone is kind of being, you know, changed. I guess you know. And you know, I'm tired of doing the same thing over and over again as well. You know, like just just living the same life, same everything. And I mean, deep down, I know that like certain things won't work for me at all. You know, just the current state of the world, just being born as a man. You know. Especially me too, because I'm a redhead and I'm ugly as- Transition then, queen. <laughs> Fuck. I never really- I really never stood much of a shot with those things, and I just kind of have to stop chasing that, you know, that whole fucking, you know, dream that like, Oh, you know, we're gonna have a family and get a successful job and buy a house like it's the 1960s, you know? Like, that's just crazy, you know? I mean, I can't believe, like, when I was a kid, like, I would never have been, like, thought as a kid that I would have ended up in this place that I am now, you know, in the state that I am now. Because I had it in my head that, you know, when I was, like, you know, four, five, six, seven, you know, like, in elementary school, I thought that I would move out at 18, even in middle school, you know? I really, I really thought that- Everyone thinks that. That's normal. I felt that too. I mean, technically I moved out when I was 18, but I still, like, haven't moved out, moved out, you know? But my first year lease is coming up soon, guys. Wish me luck. Um, but, like, Loki, fair enough. Not like I'm, like, the kind of person who, like, I don't, I think I'm way too young to, like, have a freaking family because I'm, like, 21 and it's, like... I don't go out to parties and raves and clubs as much as you guys probably think I do. And I'm not trying to be like, I'm not like other girls, guys. I'm such a pygmy. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to be like a pearl here. I'm really not. But. I mean, I feel like all girls, not all girls. Because I've like, because like my ex roommate, she's like, oh, I'm probably never going to get married. And I'm like, okay, fair. Um, I don't know. I feel like a lot more girls than you guys think have like a, a beautiful, beautiful dream of, you know, having a wonderful wedding <laughs> uh, and like children and all that. And like, obviously I fan, okay, yes, I fantasize about that shit. I fantasize about, this is such a self report. Yes, I fantasize about me and my, my, no, I'm not gonna say it. But listen, if me, I literally have a freaking video, my 
my last video was me literally saying that I'm like anti-natalist, but listen, you guys, yes, I'm anti-natalist, but also, if you really think about it, me and my boyfriend's children's children would have beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brown wavy hair and tan skin, running around, running around, beautiful little autistic children, beautiful little Boasian autistic children. They can tell you all the slurs except for the Mexican ones. It's great. And the Native American ones. Well, I don't know. They'll be they'll be like a quarter. Well, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry guys, but listen, listen. They're going to have beautiful brown eyes, tan skin, and wavy hair. Beautiful Boasian children. They're going to look like the freaking like every race South Park characters that are bald in the future. But guys, I'm anti-natalist. I swear, I'm not birthing any children. In this economy, I'm no. I'm not birthing children. In this economy, I'm just gonna adopt. Not even, because I think I'd mess up whatever kid I adopted, because I'm just not mentally there. I'm not mentally ready to raise a child yet. Okay, but y'all can, I can fantasize. I can fantasize about it, okay? I can fantasize about it. But it's not horrible. My sister's like 33 and she doesn't have children, but she has a husband and she's living life. She has a dog. I mean, like, like, I don't feel like you guys shouldn't, like... I'm not saying that this man is doing it yet because I haven't watched this full video and I'm fucking rambling. And this video is going to fucking take an hour. I am so sorry. This I'm going to take an hour to get through one 20-minute video. I'm so sorry, you guys. But this is just my, like, own little ramble. Get, click off the video if you really don't like it. Be so for real, girl. Um, but, like, don't... I don't know. I'm not saying this man is like saying like, oh, everyone needs to have children, whatever. I have not even like watched the, any of the video, really. I've gone through three minutes of video. Why, we should really just like get rid of the societal expectation that like everyone should have a family and have children because a lot of times it'll lead to people like thinking of children as like a commodity and they're like oh like i just want to live like the american dream blah 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 and they and if you put this pressure on people to have children people who aren't fit to be parents become parents because of that pressure because you should only really become a parent if it, it, it's you it's so much responsibility to be a parent it really is and you have to be in the right mindset and everything and you have to like genuinely be like ready to take care of another human being and and don't fuck it up y'all don't fucking raise a serial killer seriously so just you know, just, it, there's so many factors that go into it that really no one understands. I don't understand. That's why I'm not having kids anytime soon. But anyway. I, and I really wanted this too. It's like, you know, your parents, because it, it was a different world back then, you know. Parents were able to buy a whole house or an apartment for like dirt cheap, you know, pretty much the price of a fucking car. And I had it in my head that I'd be able to do this as well. But, you know, the world changed. Uh, you know, it's, it sucks. It really sucks. Like, I got no one to help me. Uh, and, it, and that's all right too, you know, because it's better to just have nobody in your life. You know, when you're constantly being like disrespected and made fun of, you know, all the time, and it's really hard to find genuine, like, down to earth, cool people who respect you, or you know, funny and who like, you know, treat you with respect and, you know, help you out. It's hard to find people like this nowadays, you know, because as a man, you're told to, you know, shut the fuck up, you know, we'll figure it out, get it together, and you know, all that, and you're left with just yourself, you know. Exactly, I'm exactly. I'm telling you guys, you can only. Is this guy like an insult? I'm not actually like I'm being. I'm like being so dead ass. I don't know if this guy's like an insult to and I'm not saying that he is. I just like, don't know if that's like the. Like, I don't, I don't know the, I don't know the, I haven't gone through his channel, so I don't know his vibe, but I do agree in that you can really only truly really trust yourself because at the end of the day, it's just, it's really just you. It's up to you to pick the right people and do the right thing. And you can't really be codependent on anyone uh, because, you know, tragedy, tragedy strikes, y'all tragedy strikes and you truly only have yourself to get you through that obviously like it is so important to have that support system in your life but sometimes you know it's not always reliable and and, and, and you know things fall through and people change and so the only person that has you for your entire life for sure is you i would say honestly like during the month of june wasn't a very productive month for me uh, you know, after I got out of, you know, the Pride hospital that I was in, I started drinking a lot, and what? You know, I hung over to bed all day just doing nothing, you know, and Bro. just eating my shit again, so I thought, you know, I'm gonna be out of here, might as well just, like, enjoy something, enjoy getting fucked up and, you know, whatever, but during this month of July, I kind of, you know, sat down with myself, and I'm like, you know, just, I gotta get together, you know, just, you don't want to go down that road at all, you don't. Just listen to Brat and call it a day. Just listen to Brat and call it a day. That's all I'm gonna tell this man. <laughs> listen to Brat, listen to, um, 
listen to 360 by Charlie XCX. 360, when you're in the mirror, are you looking at me? I don't even, okay, sorry. It's not fun, it really isn't, so I'm looking back on it, and even though it was like, you know, recently, it wasn't fun. Okay, was I don't mean, I, I actually, like, sorry, I was, like, insensitive, and I don't mean to, like, dismiss this man's pain, and I'm, like, very sorry about, um, well, I don't know this guy at all, but, um, and I've never, like, truly rotted, because I have a job, like, well, I have two jobs, and, like, I mean, when I, get, when I come home from work, I rot, but the, it's not, like, the same thing, like, I don't get, like, drunk and eat, I do eat crap. I literally eat snacks and then die. I eat snacks and then die. Uh, um, so I've really just experienced like the little, I've experienced like the cute little like mini version of what he's going through. Um, and even the cute little mini version where you're just sitting eating snacks and doom scrolling is like awful. So I hope this man like, isn't doing that anymore. Cause it's like not good, obviously. Sitting in your room drinking and shit, it's just not, you know, it really isn't. Uh, been more productive. I haven't been eating any fucking slot, no hot shit, slot fucking, you know, garbage at all. You know, no alcohol, none of that. Um, I don't be sub be a uh, sponsored by Factor. Have that Factor meal plan. <laughs> Lucky enough to get a part time job, and also DoorDash. You know, they finally approved me after quite a long time. Uh, it is highly competitive in New York City because. You oh, he's in New York City. Get out of there, bro! I went to New York City over spring break. It was night. It was a nightmare. It was terrifying. I was like, I need to put on a. Bulletproof vest in New York. I hated that so much. I hated it so much. Well, I didn't hate it. It was very fun. It was a fun experience, and I'm glad that I went. I'm glad that I got to go. But I could never, ever, ever, ever. I could actually never live in New York City. Please, bro. Just move to a better city. That's it. That's his solution. Move to a better city. Well, if you can. Move to like the south where real estate is really cheap and the, the, the general culture is like more conservative, conservative. Because if this man wants a family and whatever, that's, that's what they're, you know, I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. I would never live in the south personally. Because um, like an Asian person in the south is like a... Like an Asian person in the south is like an Asian person on the Mari show, you know? It's like, whoa. There's like, there's been like one dude on the Mari show, or that was Asian, which, yes, I think it's a good, it's a good look for, for the Asian race that we aren't on the Mari show. I was fucking dudes that have those electric, you know, those e-bikes, I just fucking zoom everywhere, you know, because parking is a pain in the ass here, and, you know, it sucks. And I kind of feel free now a little bit, because, you know, I kind of have room to, I guess, you know, stop looking for jobs everywhere, in any state. So like, if, I, if it's like any state that has like low housing, you know, like the, you know, cheap housing, and I find a job in an area that like, you know, there's like an apartment nearby, uh, I can go for it. I'm not bound to anything, you know? And I think, you know, if you live in the city, you can probably live anywhere. I mean, you know, parking is a pain in the ass. Like, guys, there would be days where I would, um, you know, like a year ago when I was really, really working, I was really grinding, you know, oh, shoot for your dreams. You know, just like fucking grinding in that, you know, that warehouse. Um, you know, working like 12 hour days, I would get off for like, you know, 9 30, 10, sometimes even 11. And I'd be driving around trying to find a fucking parking spot. And it would take me sometimes like up to an hour to find like an actual place to park sometimes after work, you know, find like a tight space to parallel park in. And, yeah, you know, people here are kind of crazy too, as well, you know? Um, That's what I'm saying. New York, I could not live in New York, dude. That's why you're so depressed, because you live in like the worst freaking city in the world. No offense. No offense. I just, I couldn't handle it. I could not handle it when I went as a tourist. Okay. Too many creeps. Too many weird looks. And it was like in the springtime when it was cold. So it wasn't like I was like asking for it, which by the way, that's like such a myth and like you should dress the way that you want to dress. But, um... Yeah. New York. It's just, I wasn't built for it. I was not built for that. Yeah, I, if you can live here, you can probably live anywhere, you know? And, you know, part of me is a little scared, but also excited at the same time, you know, just having something new. But, yeah, you know, I realize this, no one's ever gonna have your back. You know, when you're in your 20s, guys, and you're a man, and you haven't met, like, a, like those key developmental milestones, whether it be, like, you know, getting your first car, a job, a girlfriend, friends, you're gonna struggle your ass off. You really are gonna struggle your fucking ass off. It's gonna be rough, you know, because nobody can help you but yourself. And this is what I have to do. Truth. Yeah. Well, I wonder, what, what was this guy like in high school? Cause that also like, 
like what you, what you were like in high school kind of like it doesn't it, it well it doesn't determine it determines how your 20s go as y'all know i was a band kid yeah whatever dude whatever whatever dude i was a band kid whatever dude i don't like admitting it but i was you can tell. You can tell by my man. You can tell by my mannerisms. Anyway. You know, I'm trying to think of things that, you know, will prepare me for, you know, this journey, I guess. So just like, you're going to be a pain in the ass and sleep in my fucking car all the time. Uh, I'm like a little worried about that as well. Like really, really worried. That's like my only concern because you gotta understand, like during my day-to-day -day life, like especially now, I, you know, I don't like sitting in the house at all. Anyway, I know people like have this assumption, like, oh, oh you fucking lock in your basement and sit in your basement and do nothing all day. And, you know, that's why you're a loser. I mean, I don't even have a fucking basement, but, you know, it's, it's not the case. You know, you can go out as much as you want and, you know, you're not guaranteed success in anything in life. You're not guaranteed shit. You're not, you know, quote unquote, entitled to anything. And, you know, I spend most days just like walking around at the park, uh, just trying to stay active. Again, just like eating right, just trying to stay away from people, honestly, you know. Because um, it's, like, unfortunately, it's like what I kind of have to do, you know. I realized, obviously, I've mean, known this for a long time. I don't really know, you know, why I keep trying for these things because I put myself in these situations. I know the outcomes of, you know, I know people are going to laugh at me. And I know, like, I go to, like, a fucking like, in the bar recently, like, just all this shit. I know, I know the outcomes. And people will tell you, like, you know, that's, that's just you giving up, that, you know, you're giving up, but not really. You know, you recognize that this type of lifestyle does not suit you, so you have to find an alternative, you know. But, like, the bottom, like, 20%, I would say, even honestly, in this day and age, like, bottom 50% of men, you know, uh, you have to find an alternative life, you know, or something that will genuinely make you happy uh, and satisfy you, basically. <sighs> but, I, you know, the funny thing is, too, you know, I know I was ripping on video games a little bit last month, because I really don't play video games. Uh, unfortunately, like, last year, like, I lost, like, my main Xbox account, because I'm a dumbass, and I used my school email. I went to live with my dad, couldn't download it, because I forgot the password, couldn't reset it, and then when I came back, you know, I used my, my original one. Um, Basically, I just, when you're, I guess when you don't play on it for so long, they ask you for your password again. I'm like, all right, so, you know, so I lost like uh, everything on that. You know, all the games I bought, every everything, and that kind of got me thinking, you know, like, it's crazy how you put so many hours into something and now you have nothing to show for it at all. You know, story of my fucking life. <laughs> but that's, that's like sort of the reason why I don't play video games. I mean, me playing League of Legends, getting to cut to gold three on my Smurf, was it really worth it? Was it really worth it, guys? I went to a gaming cafe on Sunday. Um, and I play League. I relapsed stuff for like nine months. But then I play Princess Maker 3. So, fair. And I got the Noble Knight, the, the Knight of the King, the King's Knight ending. Y'all, I only play Princess Maker 3 because of uh, PBG. Because PBG made a video on it. I want to watch PBG. I don't want to watch this. This is just really sad, and I'm sorry about what this guy is going through. Oh, fucking, fucking, Becky wouldn't get it. Yeah, I wouldn't get it. I really wouldn't. Because I, I have a very privileged life. And I don't know what this guy can do. I guess he can really only just help himself. Um, he seems, from what I listen the 10 minutes i've listened to he seems to be going obviously through a rough time so i'm sorry about that man but yeah why do y'all want me to watch this like no offense no flame like no flame i'm just like this is just like this is making me sad i'm just really this is making me so sad like i just can't relate like oh my god like this is like just like when i went to africa and like fed all the little starving children like i feel the same way oh my god sorry okay you're starting out like level one and fucking everything you're like dude like i had so much shit like, like any game you know all those fucking old minecraft worlds i mean that kind of stuff anyway. but like all those minecraft worlds when i was like you know 10 years old shit they're all gone you know like my levels on all the call of duties are gone like all that you know over the years and yeah that's like that was like the turning point to me with like video games now i just kind of play those telltale games you know and most of the gameplay like i'm gonna be honest most of it isn't even mine um you know, especially like back then like i, I would kind of use mine sometimes but like not really because it was a uh, it was like hard to report it you know, like download it on my phone and chicks I never had like in storage and all that, all that. but um the Telltale games are not bad you know they're stress-free you don't have to worry about you know some kid just fucking shitting on you 24 7 who's been you know highly competitive who's been you know sweating on the, whatever game it is for the past like 10 years while you really don't play much so yeah those games I mean I do recommend those Telltale games uh they by their service they go under or whatever like they get like falling out and like most of the games you can't like technically buy anymore but they are really good games like I highly recommend stress-free so I can do like story games you know they sort of I kind of like caught on like most of it is just like an illusion of choice like when you first play the game you think your choices matter but when you play them a bunch they really don't that's also a story of my life but <laughs> you know either way it's gonna I don't know it's gonna be a journey you know showering I already have that planned out you know with the gym that's gonna be another thing that's gonna be a pain in the ass, you know. Just the sleeping, the showering. Um, maybe who knows? Maybe you know if I save up enough, I can get like a hotel room for like a night or two. But I don't want to be down to this place. I want to leave the city for sure. And at that point, if I if I do have that moment where you know the no going back moment, uh, I'm gonna have to learn to grow up and mature. You know, my parents sort of really did do everything for me. I guess you know that is also a big problem, you know, for our generation, just like having helicopter parents all the time everywhere who just, you know, uh, are doing everything for you. And kind of, because I, I notice nowadays like most Gen Z they're not really uh, 
you know, mechanically fine, fine in any way. Like most, most uh, kids my age, they don't know how to fucking fix cars or change a tire. And there's a lot of stuff that people don't do now that they used to do that was healthy. I'm just a girl. Please, I don't want to change a tire. Anyway, I should learn that shit. But I'm not going to. I'm just gonna look at cute on the side of the road until the man helps me. Do you think these noodle arms can even pick up a tire? No. I'm gonna be driving on donuts. Oh my god, the reason why the donuts channel is called donuts is because. Sorry. I'm not, I'm not into cars, I just like used to watch that channel, because whatever. Um, but yeah, okay. So my parents were kind of helicopter parents. I always felt like I was being watched. Uh, now, not so much, but like my dad still pays for everything. But I still work two jobs, guys. <laughs> I just have a lot of savings, okay? Um, but like, if I didn't, if my parents didn't pay for my rent and my schooling, well, first of all, if my parents didn't pay for my schooling, I wouldn't be able to go to college. Um, I could like probably go to community college with like the savings that I have. Um, but if my parents like didn't pay for my rent and all that crap, I literally would be living paycheck to paycheck. So again, very privileged. I'm very privileged in that way. Um, so yeah. I mean, I literally go to a private college, so, like, everyone here is just living off daddy's money, right? Um, including me. Including me. Um, but, so that's, like, actually so awful. I feel like I'm gonna, like, cry. What the heck? I'm so sorry. It's, like, probably very stressful, like, like his life. So, yeah. <laughs> that he learns empathy. Iris Steed learns empathy. So I'm gonna have to figure out a lot of stuff on my own. Unfortunately, it's gonna be like scary. You know, I'm gonna have to interact with people. Don't like doing that. That's gonna stress myself so bad. But yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. And just uh, try not to stress myself out too much. Because now, you know, it's kind of, when you're in your comfort zone, you know, you're rocking at home and every day is kind of the same. You're not really, I don't say you're like necessarily happy or really miserable. You're kind of just like numb. You're just like stuck in, in this spot. And most, you know, most Gen mm -hmm. Z, most people my age are stuck in this spot that they don't, uh, you know, recover from. They're just like still living with their parents, not, not necessarily by choice. Because, you know, it's so funny how it used to be such an insult, like, oh, you're three living with your parents. Yeah, I mean, I, okay, I understand that now. <laughs> you know, no one really says that shit anymore. You know, the millennials, they, they had it pretty fucked. I remember, like, you know, when I was in high school, oh, God, they would rip on the millennials so bad. You know, oh, the loser generation, oh. <sighs> but I'm trying to think what else I've been doing recently. I don't know. Not much, just working. You know, it is part-time. I don't really work too much. I'm trying to get my hours, uh, you know, extended. Um, I'll be DoorDash. I've been trying to save every penny I have, you know. Um, it's relatively easy because I'm not necessarily, like, a materialistic person at all. I don't care about much, you know, just, like, the basic necessities. I think that's the other reason why people don't even go out anymore, and that's also another reason why it's hard to make friends, because people just can't afford it. You know, bar drinks are expensive. I don't even, mm. at this point, you know, I just gotta stop it with that shit. You know, even having, like, I don't make a video on that, actually, like, uh, in the future, just, like, this whole drinking culture that, like, you know, countries that they have going on, it's just, it's not worth it for you, you know? You're just gonna dig yourself in a deeper hole than you're already in, you know? But, you know, I learned that, that if you buy 100 cigarettes in a year, that's 1.3K. Not about that life. Um, and when I turned 21, guys, when I turned 21, I bought a pack of Newports, for the meme because of Chester Stone. I'm like not addicted to nicotine. But I did buy a second pack. But my copium is that it's been like four months since I've turned 21 or something like that. And I've smoked like 20 cigarettes in that time. 20 like something cigarettes in that time. So like... I've gone through like one pack over the course of like three months. Uh, which, listen, I wish it was zero. But uh, yeah, I guess the best thing is just like don't get into it. If you don't want to get into, addicted to it, just don't get into it. That's why I'm just, I'm not touching gambling. I'll just watch Young Sheldon and get my fix of that, okay? The dopamine I get from gambling is the same dopamine that I get from opening a golden chest on Clash right now. So I'm just gonna stick with doing that. But, okay. uh, I'm just numb, you know, impressed. I, I, you know, I just struggle to find happiness. So instead I just have to find peace and, and being content, you know, with my current situation. I know it's probably not gonna really improve. I don't, you know, I'm getting older guys. That's just what happens, life is life. I'm gonna get older, you know, I'm probably, hopefully not, I'm gonna fucking lose my hair. Honestly, if, I, if my hair started to go great, that would be the worst thing in the world. You know, cause I am ginger, you know, I, I'm a redhead. 
wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Oh, it's over for this guy. I didn't realize I was watching Ed Sheeran. Oh, why is my- I was, I'm like doing like the mess scratches, I'm sorry. Sorry. Why am I watching Ed Sheeran? Sorry. I'm sorry. Lord forgive me. Science, science forgive me. <laughs> science forgive me, okay? There's nothing wrong with being ginger. There's nothing wrong with ooh, being sorry. Sorry. Don't worry, Ed Sheeran. It's okay. It's okay. No, I'm so sorry. That's really mean. This guy's going through it. I don't mean to be making fun of you. To my dad, he went gray, and like apparently he was like 21, his hair started getting gray. You know, but yeah, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But I also want to talk about this real quick. It's kind of random, but uh, I don't know. I I think it was like last night or two nights ago, I was uh, watching this video on YouTube. It was, it was these two scuba divers who they went in like this little cave, and one of them got, you know, they got like underwater cave, whatever, uh, got stuck in one of the, I don't know, it's like, this, like a three foot opening, whatever, and he got stuck in there. And when he had his oxygen ran out, his, you know, all that shit, but there's an air bubble at the top that he could basically, you know, breathe through for a certain amount of time before it ran out, before his time ran out. And just, I don't know, just like thinking about, you know, imagine you're, you're that, that guy in there that, you know, your fate is sealed, you know, like your life is done, you know, it's, it's literally over. No one's coming to help you. You have limited oxygen. Like, what would be going on in your head? You know, and I tried to like put myself in this guy's shoes, thinking like, you know, what do I want? And like, what would be like my biggest regret? That's just scary. Mm -hmm. and I don't have an answer. I really don't. I also want to say as well, you know, I saw this clip of, uh, you know, this dude, he was only 35. And uh, I don't know, it's just like, I don't know, I scroll on shit sometimes when I'm bored. If I died, like if I had like, if I was in that situation, my, my regret would be not finishing college, I guess, because I didn't get the opportunity to. Um, that's really it. I mean, I'd be sad because I couldn't say goodbye to, like, my family, obviously, and, like, my friends and stuff. I'd be sad that I never got to see a snow leopard in person. I'd be sad that I'm not going to be able to see Willie Rodriguez is taken, was taken on tour because they broke up. Um, what would I? I mean, like... I don't think I'm gonna really accomplish anything amazing in my lifetime. I'm just gonna be like an- I'm just another cog in the machine trying to like be happy with who I am as a person. Uh, when I die, people are gonna forget who I am in like 10, like, that's generous, like a year. Um, so I don't know. I don't really, I don't really know what, I guess my just regret, if I died right now, my regret would just be if I, I just didn't get to finish college. But anyway. And this dude, you know, just randomly got colon cancer, spread to his liver, he was all jaundiced and yellow, and the doctor, it was with his wife, whatever, and, uh, you know, he just, the doctor was like, yeah, you're not gonna make it to tomorrow, and like, he even knew himself, and like, he was just with his wife. Oh my god, this was the most, like, depressing, most, like, just brutal video I think I've ever seen in my life, you know, I think that's the ultimate, you know, BP word in the world that life is just so random, like, this dude one day couldn't control that, there's like the randomness of just, you know, getting, getting cancer, basically. You know, and his life was over. Like, 12, what was that, like 12 years? Like, 12, 35, I'm on 23. 12 years ago, felt like yesterday. You know, that's just, that's just how short life is. You know, it's just brutal to just watch this guy, you know, just, I was just like thinking, like, damn, you know. It's really depressing. You know, it's crazy how life can just, you know, that's it. You know, like, I've, I've seen it happen, you know, in my high school. Uh, I mean, even, you know, uh, the Titanic stuff, that shit must have been crazy. You know, the, if you guys remember that, the thing just, I remember watching the, uh, what was it, like, the, they made, like, an animation of it, and that shit was, like, terrifying. Like, they just, the whole thing just compressed inwards, and they said it, like, within milliseconds, I was like, just, just, psh, like, nothing. They were gone. Like, just literally nothing. No bones, no, just, they just exploded. And that's just life. You know, like, one minute you're here, one minute you're not. And it's just a scary thought, you know, like, what have I ever even done in life? What have I even, what have I even done? You know, like, like, I'm here now. Oh, I get, like, emotional, but, you know, like, I'm here now, and, like, I ask myself, like, what do I even, like, want now? You know, like, what would actually, like, fulfill me and, like, you know, make me happy? I don't know. You know? But, yeah, it's gonna be a new journey. And I guess that's pretty much it for now. This is, like, not insult. This is just realism, dude. This is just realism. I don't know why I, like, thought he was, he, well, some of his stuff looks, like, insult -y. 
Dude, I just feel depressed. I'm so sorry that this guy is going for this. Uh. What does DBDR stand for? Daddy Bunchy? Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Um. Doomer based Doomer red pilled? I don't fucking know. Like, I don't. What? Like, I don't know what I can stand for. Um. Well, I'm. No, I tell everyone who I love in my life that I love them pretty much. Well, I haven't. Uh, you know, I should call my parents. Well, not right now, because it's. My parents are in bed right now. Um, I do need to talk to my parents because I need to tell them that I'm gonna be in a musical um, and that I'm moving and that I'm doing well with my friends and how my current job is going. My parents, they're, they're flexing on me. They keep sending me pictures of like the whole family and I'm like, okay. And they're like across the country. I'm like, okay, dude. Thanks. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> They're like flexing on their family like um get togethers. I'm like okay bro. Uh okay, okay. Um should I watch more? No, I don't know. I'm like so depressed. Does he have other happier videos? No, probably not. My hairline is receding, virtue signaling is a lot of the hypocrisy when you finally the current job market. Social anxiety for good reason, the negative reinforcement trend. Just be grateful, bro. The plight of the emo fail norming the outcast myth is niche maxing of Bro, just you use real words. Did the pandemic ruin a whole generation's development? Loki it did. Loki did. Is this generation doomed? Uh, Malala's in this generation. Greta Thunberg's in this generation. Ian Armitage. I think Ian Armitage is Alpha, actually. He's 16, so 2008. What? I think Ian Armitage is Gen Z? Ian Armitage is, he's Gen Z, guys. Um, what other role models are there? Aiden Gallagher. <laughs> I like how I just picked like two just memes on men and then just like two like notable women. Okay, there's definitely, hold up. Notable Gen Z figures. Lil Nas X is Gen Z? No way. Well, these are just- okay. Well, these are all just like, um... These are all, like, TikTokers and celebrities. I'm- it, it's literally Billie Eilish, Emma Chamberlain, Greta Thunberg, Yara Shafidi. I don't know who that is. Wait, Zendaya's Gen Z? I thought she was way older. Okay, Malala, Greta Thunberg, and Tom Holland. Tom Holland is an actor. He did he do anything? I mean, yeah, he's a good actor, but he's like not really that like. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to let our generation stew a little bit longer for the next like notable person to come around but yeah we got malala and greta thunberg guys uh two people who are not from our country <laughs> um we got my friend Nathaniel. he's working on the orphan crushing machine Now I'm like 
like so actually depressed. I was like gonna do my laundry and cook dinner. I'm like, now I just wanna like be sad. And I don't wanna tell this guy, oh, to freaking work on it, cause he is working on it. Well, okay, what you need to work on is picking a cuter avatar for yourself. Pick like that little Club Penguin guy or something that it will reach more audiences because people love Club Penguin. People do not love whoever the, I don't know what his avatar is from, I am sorry. People do not love like, what? I don't know what his, his avatar is like Queso trying to cosplay Gollum. People do not love Queso cosplaying Gollum. People love cutiness. Make your um profile picture like, or make your profile avatar um, I don't know what. Make it cute. Leafy is here, Avatar, was a little picture of, chibi picture of him in a, in a onesie. And that man, oh my god, I deserve compensation for the Leafy situation. He has turned into, he's, he's looks scary. He is scary looking. I'm like, I'm like, listen, looks, look, looks should not determine your quality of character but he was he's scary looking y'all he is scary looking i deserve financial compensation we all deserve financial compensation for the legal situation i'm you know that's the thing that's why i'm not having any wasian children because what if it turns out to, like listen wasians don't have the best wasian men don't have the best track record y'all got elliot rogers Leafy is here. And Nile Red, so you know what? Slay for Nile Red. Uh this is scary. Conan Gray is wagering, I think. Olivia Rodrigo is rate wagering, so slay for them. But that's the thing. If I give, if I have, if I marry a white man, listen, Oxford study. I don't, I really, I don't need to bring more Asian children into this world because, because I could get horrible RNG. I could, I could get either Leafy is here or Michael Reeves, right? I'm actually Michael Reeves. I, well, you know what? He's fine. I could get, but I prefer now. I'm sorry, Michael Reeves. I prefer my, I prefer now red. I could get a Leafy is here son or a now red son. It's just the odds are too, like, if there was even a point zero 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 one percent chance of that I get Leafy is here, son, I'm not happy. I'm not taking the chance. So, um, but y'all already know my th thoughts on childbirth. I'm not giving birth. Not in this economy. Not in this mental state. Not in this body. This, okay, and please p make cuter thumbnails. Please pick cuter thumbnails. So, I'm telling this man, this is my advice to, this is my advice to daddy butt cheeks. Just pick a cuter little avatar to represent yourself with. Maybe make it like, um, like Club Penguin or something, because Club Penguin is like cutiness. Um, make it like a, like, you know, do not make it queso cosplaying Gollum. I don't even know what this freaking thing is. I'm sorry, I don't get the game reference. The cake is alive! Sorry. Um. Guys, does anyone get that reference? Guys, does anyone get that reference? Um. Oh, I don't know what to tell this guy. I'm so sorry, man. I just, I, I'm so sorry, dude. I hope he finds, a, you know, like a better situation than the one he's currently in. Make your thumbnail a red panda. Look at this cuteness. Sorry, it's a little deformed because I've, I've well loved this stuff there. His name is Jimin. Yes, name from BTS, but I don't listen to BTS. Smooth like butter, like a criminal undercover. Okay, so just make it this, like, okay, first, my advice for you is change your avatar to be something cuter. It could be really anything. 
Just not freaking case of cosplay and Gollum. I do not know what this is. Seriously. Seriously. Um, and make your thumbnails cuter. Um, Y'all are gonna flame me. There, people in the comments are gonna be like, make your, well, why don't you make your thumbnails cuter when all my thumbnails are just pictures of me just like from the video. Um, make your thumbnails like pictures of like nature. Like make us like a sequoia tree or something. I don't know. Um, and did this wait hold up in this video did he like write something in the description i actually didn't check he did not chad voice daddy butt cheeks passes the phone interview for a uh, 100k voice acting job oh bp black though so wait no wait no what Doomer, Boomer, Doomer, Red Pill. I don't know what the, the Daddy Butt Cheeks stands for. Guys, I actually don't know. Daddy Butt Cheeks. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to call him that. No disrespect. Doomer, Doomer Black Pilled. I like actually don't know what DBDR is. Well, anyway, Daddy Butt Cheeks. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm well. Okay, I I. I'll maybe I'll. I'm. I gotta do my laundry, guys. I gotta make dinner. I gotta work tomorrow. I need to go. To, I actually need to go to bed because I, I have to. Actually, no. I can wake up kind of late because the girl that my coworker she was like, "Oh, you're gonna be here till five, so don't work more than eight hours." And I was like, "So true." So I can come in like later, but I do have. I have like the staff meeting every day at nine, so like I kind of do have to wake up early. -ish. Well, whatever. I'll show up at nine. Um, I will watch his videos, like, cause this one, his, like, I actually, like, agree with, like, pretty much everything that he said in this video, but I do, I will revisit, like, a video that he, like, made on, like, dating and stuff. Cause as a girl, don't call them Foids. Don't call them Foids. Bro, don't call them Foids. Bro, don't call them Foids. Bro, don't call them Foids. Don't call them Foids. Don't call them Foids. Um, as a, as a, as a, Someone who was granted, someone who was granted the life of a woman, for better or for worse, dating, getting your foot in the door, I will, I'll just preface this, I'm not going to go on a full rant, but getting your foot in the door is way, way easier, but finding like a good man who like, you know, is going to take care of you and not look at other girls, pretty hard. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Finding a getting your door in the foot, easy peasy, easy as cake. Finding a man who isn't gonna abuse you, look at other women, just be a nuisance, be annoying, be stupid, pretty hard. But I, this is, I'm not trashing on my boyfriend. He's wonderful. Um, so yeah. I'll watch. I got, I got some errands to not errands, but I got a lot of chores to do. Oh, why did I spend a whole hour? Oh my god. Anyway, uh, yeah. Peace.